Soccer 605 here with Coach Ryan Byer uh, with the O'Gorman girls. Uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good first outing, Coach. It was. You, you know, I actually, you know, Roosevelt with their game. I think Friday had a little more of the groove uh, in, in the first half, especially our kids just kind of came out. We were on our heels. Uh, and, you know, I, I told our girls at half, we were very lucky to be 0-0 at half. Um, and I challenged them. I said, you know, soccer is an unforgiving game at times, and, and I, it was pretty unforgiving to Roosevelt in that first half. It, you know, for them not to knock in, you know, they were grazing the post and everything over and just to the side. And I, and I told our girls, that gave us an opportunity to come out 0-0 and ready to go. Uh, I, was, I was a lot happier with our second half. We started, you know, playing soccer. In the first half, we just kind of clunked it around a little bit, and we just were on our heels and not getting not getting the touches that we needed and, and couldn't really get forward and couldn't get momentum and I think we earned that momentum at times in the second half. Well I'll tell you what you uh, I mean you had plenty of chances to win the game if just a shot or two would have been a little different. Yeah you know and, the, and that's soccer I mean you really only need one chance to, to knock a goal in it and, and actually Roosevelt did in the end they, they ran a girl up the middle and she just took the most of it and right right to the hole and and uh, and you know got one got a 1-0 win and 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 that's the thing is our kids we challenge our kids here at the end of the game is you know what are you going to do to win the game what are you going to do to take it you know take the next step and get forward and and you know in soccer a lot of teams play not to lose and and that just you know in high school soccer you play not to lose and that's usually what happens so well speaking of high school soccer it looked like you were playing a, a couple different rules tonight you must be under High School Activities Association rules. We are. We're under the National Federation of High School, and actually I believe most of the teams that we play in are, are uh, incorporating those 40-minute halves with the, with the scoreboard as official. Uh, the referee can stop the clock at any time that they feel necessary, um, so it'll start and stop. You know, I think when people get used to it, the fans actually, you know, it, it's more like a football or basketball that they're used to. I, it's probably a little more American, you know, uh, than to worry about how much injury time you have. And, and, you know, a couple subbing things are different, but it's really just still soccer. It is still soccer. And speaking of that, I, you know, the, that second half, you know, uh, you were in there in plenty. It looked like, uh, you know, about half and half. Uh, a lot of lot of uh, activity in the middle of the park, so uh, it really the girls did really come around really well. They did, yep. And, and again, we challenged them, and they they came around, and and we we know what we need to work on. I told them, you know, a one zero loss like this is something that's fixable. I mean, there's all things that in the beginning of the year that you know you can work on, and and you know come the middle of the season or the end of the season some of those you know just getting to know the kids that are getting to know themselves and where they're going to be in positioning and you know the talking and all that kind of comes together and you know you always have those first game jitters and with the atmosphere we have tonight you know first home varsity game of the year and you know against a city rival big rival I mean it, it, there's a lot of excitement to this game. Yeah, and you know they uh, they did what they needed to do. They got better during the course of the game. So now you're heading to Aberdeen, uh, playing a real tough Aberdeen side. They uh, um, are probably are feeling a little bit sore after that loss to Rapid City Central over the weekend. So it uh, should be a good battle for you. Sorry, Randy. <laughs> uh, it will be. You know, I, I guess you know the past few years. Uh, you know, we know it's like you know like two bulls button heads up there. You know, if they're playing here, we're playing up there. Uh, it's you know you better bring your best and you better be ready to go because they always are coming full speed uh, and and yeah we're excited you know we're glad to have a few more days of practice here until Saturday uh, but we're looking forward to the trip it's it's good to kind of get away from home once in a while and and uh, and see what you can do away from our, your home turf well we'll look forward to calling you on Saturday and see what your outcome was good good luck in Aberdeen coach appreciate it thanks Randy all right Boo.